guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with an unboxing video that I am so, so excited to be filming. And that is an unboxing for the March Myths and Monsters Fairy Loot Box. So this is my first time unboxing a Fairy Loot Box, and I've been seeing them going around on Instagram, people take beautiful pictures, and people unboxing them here on BookTube, and I've always been so intrigued by them. So when the creators of Fairy Loot contacted me and asked me if I was interested in unboxing one of their boxes, I absolutely absolutely said yes, and I'm so excited to have it here today so I can unbox it for you guys. This is actually their one year anniversary box. That's why the box is purple, so it was like a special edition box. Fairy Loot was also kind enough to give me my own code for you guys. If you want to get 5% off of a three to six month subscription, then you can enter the code Hannah. It's just my first name, H-A-N-N-A-H. -N -N I'll leave it all linked in the description box. So if you're interested in getting a subscription for yourself or for a friend, then you can definitely go ahead and use that code. I gain nothing from it, but I just think that it's really nice for you guys if you're interested. Fairy Loot is a YA subscription box that is based out of the UK, and they focus on YA fantasy mostly, which is obviously my like favorite genre. So I think this box is going to be so much fun for me, and I cannot wait to open it up. So without any further ado, let's just get into it. Also, I'm like really obsessed with Fairy Loot's logo. I just think it's so pretty. Whoever designed that, props to you because it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I've cut the tape, so let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. I'm so excited. So the first thing in the box is the little card that has this beautiful art on it that is for their theme. I don't know who the artist is, but these are so, so gorgeous. I've seen them for so many of the other boxes too, and I just think they're so pretty. And then the back side just has like all the stuff that's inside of it, but I'm not going to read it because I don't want to know. I want to be surprised, even though I think I know what the book in this month's box is. And if I'm right, I'm probably going to scream. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I'm seeing in here are these fairy lights, but they're unicorn fairy lights. They have little unicorns and rainbows and that is just so cute. I'm gonna open these up. Oh my god, that's so cute. Look at them. <laughs> yeah, so you just put the battery in here and then you can hang them up and they light up. These are gonna be so cute for Instagram pictures. Look out for that on my Instagram. <laughs> so the next thing in here is this little mermaid pocket mirror and it's a fairy loot exclusive, which is really, really cool. It's so, so pretty. I'm obsessed with mermaids and this art is just gorgeous on here. So this is definitely going in my purse. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm super excited about, it's this candle and it is a geeky clean candle and the scent is Nephilim and it's black cherry and lime and it smells so, so good. It's like really fresh smelling, but it's a Nephilim candle. So I'm gonna put it on my Shadow Hunters shelf with all my other Shadow Hunters stuff and I am just so excited to have this. I love bookish candles. If you couldn't tell from my shelves, I have a lot of them around here. I have some more around my room, so I'm always happy to get more. <laughs> the next thing in here is absolutely adorable, and it's these little magnetic bookmarks, and we have a phoenix, I think, and a dragon, and they're so, so cute. These are the like magnetic clip bookmarks that you can put around like the specific page that you're on. I love these. I have a lot of them, but I don't have any from this brand, but these are so cute. I think I'm gonna put the phoenix one on my Harry Potter shelf. Okay, so the next thing is this thing that looks like it has scales or feathers and I'm not sure what it is, so let's take it out of the plastic. It's a scarf! This is so pretty! Oh my god, this is such a pretty scarf and it's such nice, like, soft material. Oh, it says fairy loot at the bottom. So I'm assuming this is like a fairy loot exclusive type of thing. I seriously love this so much. Every time it's cold, I'm wearing a scarf. So I now have a new one and it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so this next thing in here is this little, like, promotional card for Fallen by Lauren Kate, which apparently they're turning into a movie. I didn't know this. This is one of, like, the books I read back in my Twilight light days and actually I kind of hated it but I didn't know that they were making it into a movie and now I'm kind of interested to see it because I read this years ago and I don't remember anything about the story. The next thing in here is this little fairy loot one year anniversary pamphlet. It just has like a bunch of pictures of um, how they began and their warehouse and them like boxing stuff up and just their story and I just think that's really cute since I don't know that much about them since this is the first box I'm unboxing from them. I think I'm gonna sit down and read through this later Later on, but so far I'm already in love with them. <laughs> and the very last thing that is in this box is the book, and it's in this 
this nice, beautiful bag and I can see through the top and I think I'm right. I know exactly what book this is and I'm so excited. So let me open this up. And I was right, it is the book that I was thinking and it is one of my most, if not my most anticipated book of this year. And that is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor in this beautiful, beautiful UK edition with blue sprayed pages. And the inside is signed by Lainey Taylor and all of the first editions of the UK edition have this drawing that's done by Lainey Taylor on this front page and they're all signed and all of the ones in the fairy loot boxes have this. I have been dying to read this book and I finally can. I'm a huge, huge fan of the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. It's one of my all-time favorite trilogies and now I'm so excited to be starting off her new duology, I believe. Honestly, I don't even fully know what this book is about. I just know that it's magical and mystical and whimsical and I love Lainey Taylor's writing and I really don't want to know anything about the plot. I totally just want to be surprised. So I'm so excited to finally have this and I cannot wait to start reading it. There are also a couple of things that were in the bag in front of the book as well. There's this little Strange the Dreamer postcard, which is super cool. It has a quote that says, did the unseen city still stand? What power could ease a name from the minds of the world? And then the back is just like a little postcard and it's so cute. And then there's also a note from Lainey Taylor about Strange the Dreamer. So I'm definitely gonna read this before I read the book. And then the last thing in here is the fairy scoop, which is just a little bit about next month's theme and some of the items, I believe, and then some stuff about Lainey Taylor in here. So I'm gonna read through this as well. So overall, I am just so incredibly pleased with this box. It is everything that I love in subscription boxes, as well as in books. Like there was a candle in here, there was a scarf in here, there was one of my most anticipated releases of the year. Like what more could I really want? I think that Fairy Loot has a great aesthetic. That's one thing that I really like about them. And I really like the items that they choose. I feel like they're really unique and they're very, very much catered to the books and the themes that they choose, which is exciting. Personally, I also just really like the theme of myths and monsters. Since it's a fantasy box, they tend to do like fantasy-ish themes. And this was definitely a fantastic one in my opinion. But that is pretty much it for this unboxing. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was in this box, if you either got it or or just based on this unboxing, what you saw. Also, let me know if you're as excited to read Strange the Dreamer as I am, or if you've already read it, don't spoil me, but tell me any of your thoughts, I would love to know. Once again, a huge thank you to Fairy Loot for sending this box over, and I will leave links to all of their information in the description box, as well as a code that you can use for 5% off of a subscription. But that is all that I have today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.